Today, the chamber continues to hear the remainder testimony of Madame Sotani. And we begin to hear the testimony of 2TCCP 230. Ms. Sekolbote, could you please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings? Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunchir is Monsieur present Nunchi at the holding cell downstairs as he waves his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The civil party who is to conclude her testimony today, that is Madame Hun Setani, is present and ready to testify. Today we also have a reserve a civil party, that is true TCCP 230. Thank you. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by Nunchi. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunchi dated 27th May 2015, which notes that Due to heart condition, that is backache and headache, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he waves to he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 27 May 2015 hearing. He advises that he has been advised by his counsel that in no way the waiver can be construed as a waiver of his right to, to be tried fairly or to challenge any evidence presented or admitted during his trial. Having since the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated 27 May 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has a constant back pain and dizziness and cannot sit for long, and recommend that a chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings from the holding cell downstairs. Pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC Internet Rule, the chamber grants Nun Chi his request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs by an audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can follow the proceedings remotely. That applies for the whole day. The chamber now hands the floor to the political lawyers for civil parties to continue putting questions to this civil party. You may proceed. Civil party lawyer. Thank you, Mr. President. First of all, good morning, Mr. President, your honors, and everyone in the air courtroom. And once again, good morning, Madam Civil Party. Before I continue putting more questions to you regarding the working condition at the first January Dam website, I have a few questions to put to you regarding the children in the second unit. You stated that children were forced to work at the work site as well. So what were they asked to do at the dam work site? Answer. The children were instructed to do the same work as that of the adults, and they received the same food ration. They did not care that they were children. Every 
thing was the same, that is, their working condition and the food ration, they did not consider their young age or their weak strength. They did not have any sympathy for those children. Some are called next, right? Question. Can you tell the court if you saw, heard, or, or observed that some children fell sick from overworked? Answer. You can imagine when young children worked as hard as the adult. So their health condition actually deteriorated dramatically, although they tried their best to do the work. And when they fell sick, no Les one actually came to visit them. Malade, All of them had to leave the sleeping quarter out into the fields to carry the earth. Every time the adults and the children had to actively work, and, and that was reinforced through the announcement on the loudspeaker that all workers had to work actively. Question, if I am not mistaken, you saw children fell sick from overwork. What kind of measure taken for those sick children, for instance, any medical staff were sent uh, to check up on them or to provide them with treatment. Answer, no. There were no special medical staff. However, there were some medical uh, staff who gave injection from an orange juice-like bottle to the children. À partir d'une bouteille qui ressemblait à une bouteille de jus d'orange. Question. I'd like now to return to the uh, line of questioning regarding your working condition at the dam work site. You stated that you worked at three different locations, first near Trapiangchere Pagoda, then near the National Road, and third, you worked near the river. What kind of work were you instructed to do at these three separate locations? Answer. At the work site, I was instructed to carry earth, to dig the ground. That was the kind of work that I did there. Voilà, we were not allowed to be idle or to, to be free at all, and we had to, to compete with other workers from other villages. And actually, we overworked. Sometimes I fainted while working, so other workers would uh, come to uh, support me and uh, to give me some physical massage or to pull to my hair to wake me up. The condition was uh, terrible. Les conditions de travail étaient épouvantables. The food that was given to us was insufficient, but we had to try to work as we were instructed to do so in order to survive. If we didn't try our best uh, to work, then si nous ne we would not survive. Alors, that was kind of a 
a test bed location to strive for, to 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 try our endeavor in doing the, the work and we try to put as much as as possible onto the, the basket in order to win uh, the workers from other villages who were working nearby pour gagner contre les autres villageois qui travaillaient à proximité and uh, as a result of overwork at that work site, I still have my back pain and lumbago at the moment. Whatever Encore, I did at the time was to survive. Tout ce que j'ai fait, c'était pour survivre à l'époque. Je m'efforçais de survivre. Question. You said that you tried your best to work. Question, vous avez dit que vous and you did whatever you could. Travailler. Can you tell the court were well, there a set of working hours for all the workers there? And was there an adequate fixe, rest time? S'il y avait des pauses pour vous reposer suffisantes. Answer. While I was carrying earth at uh, Trapeang Chirei, we started actually we woke up by a whistle at 4 o'clock in the morning and we started working at 5. We stopped for meal at 11 and we resumed at 1 and we continued until 5. Et nous poursuivions ensuite then, le travail jusqu'à 5 heures. Ensuite, à 6 heures, and we nous reprenions à nouveau notre labeur que nous poursuivions jusqu'à 10 heures. And when we had to work at a location near the national road, it was quite a, a far distance, so we had to wake up by a whistle sound at 3 o'clock in the morning. Everybody was so tired from the previous night, and sometimes we were walk sleeping, and sometimes some of us uh, fell down while walking to the work site, and we were then scolded uh, by the unit chief. And of course, from what we observed, the unit chief didn't work as hard as we did. As sometimes during the daytime, the unit chief would uh, disappear somewhere else to, to rest. And of course, we didn't dare to ask uh, where he went to. Nous n'osions pas demander. So we had to uh, start walking to the work site at four o'clock in Donc the early morning. Matin, and as you imagined, the early morning time was the best time for everyone uh, to fall asleep. C'était le meilleur moment pour que tout le monde s'endorme. And on some days, when I was so tired, jours, I didn't care about uh, taking a bath. I slept in my uh, working clothes. Faire ma toilette ou prendre un bain ne m'importait plus du tout. Je dormais dans mes habits de travail. And when I woke up in the morning, I didn't je me le matin, care about the change. I just continued uh, to work. Ne pas, and every je day, we heard through the loudspeaker again and, and again that we had to actively engage in hard work. Dur, se and we, we were working very hard until Alors, the work there completed ce que le soit and it was even more pitiful for those who who were uh, blind at night Et la as they could not work properly at night time and that they sometimes had to uh, work during the lunch break 
in order to compensate for the difficult time for them at night. For instance, they only took half an hour lunch break and continued their working again. And at night time, those uh, who were blind at night had to dig the ground and put the earth onto the carrying baskets. And there was no sympathy whatsoever for them. How come we were treated? So in Jumanly, comment peut-on traiter aussi inhumainement les gens? Question. While you were working there, what was the food Question. ration like? Was it sufficient? Et lorsque vous travaillez là-bas, comment étaient les rations alimentaires? Étaient-elles suffisantes? Answer. In terms of the Food ration. There's nothing much to say. You can imagine how many flies there were during the hot month of April and May. You could hear the combined sound of flies as they were bees making sound. And every ladder of soup that was placed onto a bowl contained uh, many flies. Dès que la nourriture était déposée sur un bol, il y avait de nombreuses mouches. And we had just to pick the flies one by one to, out of the uh, les enlever soup bowl. Une par une de la, du bol de soupe. And we had to eat whatever left in the bowl. Et nous And as for the rice, we were only given a packed of rice each. Pour le riz, nous n'avions qu'une dose de riz chacun. Question. You said there was no sanitation Question. at the work site and there were too many flies. And you know uh, the reason for the flies? Was it due to the lack of sanitation? Savez-vous pourquoi il y avait beaucoup de mouches? Est-ce que c'était dû au manque d'hygiène? Answer. There was no sanitation at all at the work site as the workers relieved themselves here and there. And that was the reason for the crowd of flies. I could not describe enough about the awful condition at the work site in terms of sanitation. Question. Were toilets built for the workers to use at the work site? Answer. During the first few months that we were at the work site, there was no toilet. And only until the end of April, then a mobile wooden toilet was brought in from a village for us to use. And the West the human rice was then uh, used as fertilizer. Et on utilisait les excréments humains 
And as for water, the only source of water that we could drink was the water from the river. And of course, thousands of workers from upstream, from downstream, had to drink the, the same water from the river. Question. So you had to drink water from the river and there was no more water provided to uh, the workers? If the Khmer Rouge didn't boil the water for the workers, were the workers themselves allowed to boil les water to drink? Avaient-ils le droit de faire bouillir de l'eau pour la boire si les Khmer rouges même Answer, ne faisaient no. pas bouillir l'eau au préalable? And Réponse, there was no, no time for us to boil water. We didn't have any pot to boil the water. We didn't have any firewood. So everyone had to to go and find the water to drink from the river by himself or herself. And the only food that was provided is was the, the rice and uh, a little soup. And sometimes, because of the the dirt in the water, sometimes I had to close my eyes to force myself to drink the water. And I would not believe if anyone working there said he or she drank any bowl of water. You can imagine there were tens of thousands of workers from the three uh, uh, sectors working at that construction site. Question. You were required to work hard there was no sanitation, Question. the food was not sufficient, and there was no boiled water for the workers. Did you see any worker who became sick? Des ouvriers tombés malades. Answer. Workers from my uh, village, uh, there was uh, one man who was an, an old uh, person, died from overwork. Âgé qui est mort he worked too hard, parce avait and, uh, trop dur. he was uh, unmarried at the time, and Il he would just do whatever he was assigned to do even if to uh, manually Il break rock. De and as a mort. result, uh, he died. Et à cause de cela, il est mort. Question. The man he, who died and as you said, was the one who simply follows the instructions from the upper echelon of Anka and from overwork he died. Did Anka organize any prisoner ritual of what happened to his corpse? What kind of arrangement was made by Anka when he died? Une cérémonie, un rituel. Quel type de mesures ont été prises par Anka lorsque cette personne est morte? Answer. You can forget about any traditional ritual for the dead. Rituel traditionnel pour les morts, mais oubliez. There was no cadre who. Came up with such an arrangement, even if the village chief did not care si about uh, his uh, dead body, and only us who, who knew him would quietly weep. We felt pity for him that he sacrificed everything for Anka, and at the end he died, and nobody cared when he died. Et lorsqu'il est mort, tout le monde s'en moquait. Personne ne s'en est soucié. And everybody minded his or her own Chacun business at the time. We just tried to, to work in order to survive. Nous and parce the, the mother of the dead person survivre. only Les had another uh, child survive. 
des personnes s'occupaient alors de l'enfant qui avait survécu. I'd like to put a more question to you in relation to document E3-4790 at my year and 0058-2096 and in French 0967208 And in English, 0940142. You said that there was a preparatory line near where near the work site, and one Khmerus stood guard. Et que un Khmer rouge montait la garde. And there were many of them in uh, standing guard uh, along the Vous line, uh, 10 meters of pace. Were they armed? Answer. Yes, they were there in order to watch réponse, over the workers and to avoid, uh, to prevent workers from escaping uh, the work site or to deter workers from staying too long in the forest when the, the events to leave themselves. And we, when we had to relieve ourselves or, or to pay, we could not uh, go anywhere further from where they were standing. So sometimes we had to pee just very in close proximity to where they were. Because if we were a bit uh, far, then they would assault at us and uh, instruct, instructed us to return. Question. You said uh, the soldiers Question. were standing guard in a preparatory uh, line in order to prevent workers from going elsewhere. Did you uh, witness any worker who violated uh, that instruction? Qui est en frein, cette instruction? Answer. As uh, uh, for the new people, no, they didn't violate uh, any instruction. They were so afraid. However, some old people uh, did uh, cross the line. But the new, the new ones, no, they were so afraid uh, of the Khmer Rouge. Old people had a bit more right they could uh, go, for example, 10 or 20 meters uh, far from the, uh, from the lines that they were standing guard. But the new people didn't dare do so. Question. In relation to the uh, two kinds of people, that is the old people or the best people and the new people, and just as there you also said that new people were not allowed to hold any position, namely a, a unit chief or position. Can you uh, tell the court did the uh, Khmerus treat the old people and the new people differently? And if so, how? Answer. If the old people made a minor mistake, the old people could uh, provide justification to the Khmerus, but this did not apply to the new people. The new people were under tremendous pressure. And if the, a new person was accused of a wrongdoing, and although he or she didn't commit it, the person would remain uh, quiet, did not dare to protest or to provide any justification in order to survive.
Question. I refer to uh, the same document at the Khmer EN 0058 to 0097. In English? In English. In French, rather, 0967209, and in English, 0094014243. And I'd like to uh, make a quote from your statement. Je vais citer la déclaration que vous avez faite. I when the work near the national road was not completed Lorsque yet, they withdrew forces to have block water at Gina Tributary. The Cape Mail mobile forces to break rock there. Everyone had to hit wounds from the feet to the knees because they were hit by rock chips that flew out. And my question to you, how did you know that? My question is the suivante: how did you know that? Answer. That is the truth. That's what happened. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. C'est la vérité. C'est ce qui s'est passé. Those young men were from my village, and that's how I knew about it. Voilà comment je l'ai su. They wore shorts, and the rock fragments flew, and hit their uh, legs. That's why they had wounds all over their legs. If Anka could observe the situation and provided them with long si with trousers, then cela, the condition would be better, but that was not the case. Long. And they didn't receive any treatment for the wounds on their legs. They had to pick tree leaves and patch those wounds. It was a pitiful situation, and the only liquid or medicinal liquid that was given to them was the, liqu was the liquid from the liquides. orange bottle. And as for que us, we only had a pair of clothes parlé. that we were wearing every day, and some people were lucky Nous to have two pairs of pants. And as for the sarong, that we wore, Quant aux que nous portions, they were meant uh, with patches, and we washed it On les with only avec des the river water. There was no soap to, to wash uh, our on clothes. Pas les laver avec du savon and à la if rivière. we, if they considered that we looked too clean, then. They would si accuse us of being propre, in the upper class from the upper regime or from the feudalist class, uh, for example. Supérieure. And they said that uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime, there were only two classes of people, that is, the peasants class and the laborers class, so that we could not uh, be too clean, otherwise we would be criticized. Consort, thank you. You stated just now about Question. clothes. Vous venez de parler when you were working at the 1st January dam size, Lorsque vous travaillez sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier, did uh, Khmer Rouge cadres provide you with clothes? Khmer Rouge vous avez fourni des vêtements? Did you receive uh, sufficient clothes to wear? Aviez-vous suffisamment de vêtements à porter? Answer. When I arrived at that Réponse. place, I was given a piece of clothes to make, place, a, to make trousers and shirts plutôt, to wear. Un de tissu pour fabriquer un pantalon et une chemise. We had, I had to take care of uh, my clothes 
Je devais bien m'occuper de mes habits, uh, we bien use our prendre clothes soin, to wear during the time that we were working. Car c'était les vêtements que je devais porter lorsque je travaillais. I had only two sets of clothes. Je n'avais que deux tenues. It was a terrible situation for me. Cette situation and était vraiment women, terrible pour moi. And as for women, they had periods. And Les femmes avaient leurs règles. And the the, the we the female get period, and we had to wash the period away with the river water from the river. river. Sometimes our trousers were wet while we were Parfois working. Nos tout alors que nous we had no sanitary pads. Nous pas de serviettes hygiéniques. And uh, when we saw each other that someone was having a period and then nous que nous we told règles. those people to go to the river to clean uh, the period away à la by using the river, uh, wa water from the river. De la pour se and uh, Council, I would like to move on Merci, poursuivre concerning the Khmer Rouge K-Dress. Did cas they de know Khmer that uh, you did not have uh, such uh, material, namely uh, sanitary pads to use while you were working there? And did Khmer Rouge K-Dress know about the situation you experienced? Ont-ils eu une idée de la situation que vous avez vécue Answer. Réponse. Our supervisor knew nothing. Knew nothing at Notre all. Notre superviseur n'était pas au courant. Nous They rien du did tout. not know the difficulty of a female situation. Ils n'étaient pas au courant des difficultés éprouvées par les femmes. And when we were working away from the river, lorsque nous travaillions loin de la rivière, we had to with the uh, stain of the periods on our trousers. We did not have time to clean it. Nous n'avions pas le temps de nettoyer. And as you may be aware, usually on one particular day, the period would come savez, in large amounts. Les menstruations sont particulièrement Council. abondantes. Thank you, Madame Civil Party. I would like to go back to your statement in the same document. Ian in Khmer is at 00 58 English 00 96 72 Council. English Zero zero ninety four zero one quatre vingt quatorze zero un forty four. You stated that uh, male and female workers were not allowed to talk to each other, Vous even they were siblings. Could you tell the court who gave who gave such order and why? The village chief told us, and Réponse. the unit chief would also tell us. Le chef de l'unité nous l'a également dit. We were warned to be not involved in the moral offenses. Il ne fallait commettre aucune. Even we as siblings, we could not moral. stand talking to each other. 
Nous ne pouvions pas nous parler les uns des autres, y compris si nous étions frères et sœurs. That, uh, we would be arrested, si l'on nous avait we were repéré, prohibited si l'on avait, avait pris en flagrant délit, nous avions été arrêtés. While we were working, nous n'avions pas le droit de nous parler. Nous n'avions pas le droit de nous parler. And soldier would stand uh, guard near the place where we were walking. We working. I know this because soldier arrested uh, two siblings while they were talking together. The soldier warned the two siblings not to talk to each other. And uh, the two siblings were told that even you were siblings, you could not stand on and talk to a, each other. I saw that incident and I was a tremble. I thought why they moi, were so la... unkind. I mean, why the kid raised uh, were so unkind. They were siblings. Été... Why not allow them to talk to each other? So the condition was becoming stricter. Les conditions étaient de plus en plus strictes. Council, thank you. L'avocate, merci. While you were working at the first January dam site, sur le du did du you ever see any senior leaders or foreign delegates come to visit the dam site? Une visite sur ce chantier? Answer yes. Réponse oui. I saw Laotian delegates. J'ai I heard the announcement that uh, Laotian delegates came to visit the place. Une annonce a été they faite were, à ce uh, sujet. On fait, venir they were fed uh, Laotian uh, delegates. And on another occasion, I saw Nepal delegates coming to Népalaise. visit the place. I was told and instructed to welcome those delegates, and the base of people told me that uh, Tapo was there at the dam site during uh, that visit. Lors de la I uh, do not recall well for the first uh, visit while uh, we je were work, while I was working. On that day, I was. Là. We were told over the loudspeaker that there would be foreign delegates coming to our place. Why? I knew there were Laotian and Nepal delegates coming to visit the dam site because I heard the announce, announcement over the loudspeakers telling us that uh, Laotian and Nepal delegates would come to our place. Council, thank you. Could you tell the court when the Khmer Rouge senior leaders and foreign delegates came to the dam site, or what did they do there? Le Did they also de participate uh, in -vous nous dire the work? Ils ont part aux Answer. I saw them walking while Réponse. I was carrying dirt. Je les ai vus Everyone so was staring and looking at uh, those people because uh, we saw them uh, in their good-looking dress, and they had Ils de beaux uh, nice bags. Ils de beaux they were sacs. fat. Ils assez they were well-dressed. Council, thank you. I uh, would like to refer back to the Merci. document Je vous in Khmer Ian is at 0058-2097, French Ian, 0096-7209, English, 0094-01-40. Three. In your statement, you stated that uh, there was a film shooting at Vous the time site. Un dans votre dans votre what did you see during that time 
Qu'avez-vous vu à ce moment-là? Were you also working during the time that there was a film shooting? Could you Étiez-vous give the detailed information to the court about film shooting? Pouvez-vous donner quelques détails par rapport au tournage de ce film? Answer. I was working, I was carrying dirt while the film was being shot. There was an announcement over the loudspeaker to encourage us to work even harder. They used a pole and the camera was attached to that long pole and we were being shot. Everyone was told to carry dirt as Et quickly as possible and to and we were told to work possible, uh, as possible. harder as we could. We were instructed to work actively as Nous depicted in the uh, slogan or saying of the Khmer Rouge in that period. I uh, also want to see the film which was shot on that day. We were working uh, very, very hard on that day. Unit chief, group chief, uh, was standing and instructing all of us to work harder. I heard uh, shouting and screaming from uh, those chiefs. We were instructed to be very active. And we were warned not to stand still. Some people would use the hose to to get the dirt onto the basket. Council, thank you. In relation to your father, you stated that your father and your two younger siblings were sent to work at the 1st January dam site. I would like to refer to the same document, that is document E3-4790, ERN in Khmer 00 French 00 English 00 94-0142. In your statement, your father was taken to be killed at Barai Chondai Pagoda, Put Pagoda. What did you know about Barai Chondai Pagoda? Que saviez-vous de cette pagode? Answer. Réponse. I heard people say about it. J'ai entendu des gens en parler. I never approached that pagoda. Personnellement, je ne me suis jamais approché de cette pagode. I heard people saying that people were killed at Barai Chondai pagoda. Des gens étaient exécutés à cette pagode de Barai Chondai. Council, thank you, Madame Civil Party. In Merci, your Madame same Party statement, civil. on the same page, you page. know about this because uh, your vous siblings vous told you que vous aviez that mis au par your vos father was taken away and killed. Did your younger sibling witness that incident, or did they heard from others? How did they know? Answer. On that day, Réponse. it was a coincidence. I had a, an abdomen, abdominal pain. I uh, made a request uh, to take a rest because of that illness. And I, uh, my request was granted by my uh, unit chief, and I returned to my uh, sleeping quarter. My younger siblings uh, witnessed that incident. I, they were told that my father was asked and told to carry locks. 
Malaysian men came to call my father. My younger sibling witnessed that incident and they knew about it. I was uh, working, however, on that day I uh, was sick because of uh, my uh, period. I was sleeping at night time and uh, the day after my younger sibling, my two younger siblings came to, to, to tell me that my father was taken away and killed and he did not return. I told them that they had to try to work. Je leur ai dit we could not weep uh, because we were so shocked. Nous en état de choc. We we now lost uh, our father. Nous I told my uh, younger sibling. We, I told my younger sibling that uh, we did not have time to pay our gratitude to our father yet, and now he is, he was gone. I try not to weep and sob while I was working. I I was consoled by my colleagues that I had to bear the situation and work hard. Ils m'ont dit qu'il fallait que je supporte tout cela et que je travaille dur. Council, thank you. I have uh, one more question Merci. in relation to your younger sibling, Hon So Koma. You stated that your younger sibling was so shocked, and as a result, this uh, younger sibling fell sick. How was he at that time? How old was he at that time? Quel âge avait-il à cette à cette époque? Answer. Réponse. He was about 12 or 13 years old Il avait 12 at that time. Villagers who would uh, come and go to my place told me that Les villageois I told uh, him that uh, my father was taken away and killed. He collapsed. On the way, he went cela, to work. He became conscious by himself. No one was there to help him. He told me that my uh, father was taken away in a April and uh, my uh, younger siblings uh, fell sick and died mm, later in May. He told me that when I learned that my our father was taken away, I had no feeling to work. I collapsed and I could not uh, go to work. I at that time I was asked to go and. Ten cows. Alors on m'a demandé d'aller m'occuper du bétail. On the day, on that day, I uh, I was uh, working. However, I made a request to go home, and I was asked je, why. Je I, I told my superior uh, that uh, I miss my father so terribly. I did not have a feeling to work. And as for my uh, younger sibling, uh, he was sick and hospitalized frère, in Kampong Tmok Hospital. I uh, did not know about the time that uh, my younger sibling was hospitalized. My Je mother told me about it. I went to visit parlé. my younger sibling Je for a brief moment, fois, which was about 10 minutes. And I minutes, was back to work. When I was travail. at the hospital, I could not even recognize Lorsque my pétale, mother. She was so skinny. And after the visit, I went back home. Later, visite, a few a few days later, Quelques I après, heard a message from my mother's 
which was told by someone that my younger sibling already perished. We had no time and rights to celebrate any uh, funeral ritual for my uh, younger sibling. Counsel, thank you, madam. I have Merci, two last questions. The first one concerns your two younger siblings who were assigned to work at the dam side. They are Hun Koltida and Hun Sutirat. What happened to them? Did they survive the period? Answer. My younger sibling or siblings Réponse. was accused of stealing a skirt and put Ils in ont été volé une jupe. his or her backpack. Et Someone sac, at uh, my younger sibling uh, work site uh, was jealous. And I uh, did not believe in uh, that accusation because my younger Certains brother or sister would Moi, not uh, steal the skirt and put in his or her own backpack. And there was someone in the, the village uh, try to defend try to defend uh, the accusation for my uh, younger sibling and he or she could survive uh, the period. Ils ont pu survivre. Everyone uh, knew that uh, for base uh, for new person, he or she did not dare to steal uh, belongings or anything in that period. So the uh, base person blames uh, my younger sibling for that kind of uh, theft. And there were many people defend did uh, my uh, younger défense. sibling at that time. These people believe uh, that uh, my younger sibling uh, did not do Ces such a bad thing if uh, pas pu faire the accusation cela. was correct at that time, my uh, younger sibling would be killed. Mais si les avaient été Counsel, thank you, Madame Civil exécuté. Party. I would like to seek the floor for my colleague. President. Thank you. You may now proceed. Le président. Merci. Allez-y. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. You, Bonjour Mr. à President. tous. Uh, Bonjour, Madame la Partie civile. J'ai une question party. de suivi à vous poser euh, concernant l'hôpital dont vous venez de parler et où vous avez vu votre mère. Je voulais savoir si vous pouviez décrire cet hôpital, donc l'hôpital de Pontmartre. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer can you explain to us Comment uh, était l'hôpital uh, Ce dont vous vous souvenez en tout cas. Was like, what you remember of the hospital. Answer. The hospital was once a school. L'hôpital était une ancienne école. And that hospital was not in a good condition and the floor uh, was not built from a cement. Il pas été en, en dur. And peop the sick uh, would be sent uh, from Barai to Les that hospital and the hospital was named Ponerier District Hospital. hospital du All de sick Ponerier. people would be referred to that hospital. Les the sick and those who were well were of the same shape uh, because uh, they, they were skinny and bony. I uh, have no idea about uh, medicine. I uh, paid a brief uh, visit at that hospital Je when my uh, younger sibling was there. It was place, about 10 minutes later I left uh, that hospital. 
Je vous remercie. Quand vous dites que l'hôpital n'était pas en dur, est-ce que vous pouvez être un petit peu plus précise Several patients and those who did not have a bed, the, the, the patient who did not have a bed to sleep in, they would sleep on the floor. As I stated earlier, I have no idea about medicines at that hospital. I paid a very brief visit at that place, and I did not know whether patient uh, was given injection or medicines. Je vous remercie, Madame la participante. Thank you, civil party. I have no further questions, Mr. President. President, thank you. The floor is now given to the co-prosecutors to put question to this witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good morning, um, Madam Sitani. I have a very few questions, and after that, I would give the floor to my colleague. While you were working at the first January dam worksite, did you see any women who were pregnant and were working there? No. Uh, in the area that I worked, uh, there was no pregnant woman, and I cannot say whether they were uh, at in the other units. Question, and what did you know about uh, other units if there were any pregnant women? Or if a uh, what was the work arrangement for pregnant women? Et pour les Answer. Enceintes, étaient les arrangements de travail? There was no difference made to Réponse. any different uh, types of uh, workers. Everyone was under the same working condition. 